Don't be a pussy. <laughs> It's safety for the future, so you're ready for the future. Right? It's safety now or safety later. So when I step in here, I'm not just stepping and just leaving my leg out there. Right? If I step and I start falling and there's no connection to him, right? If I just sit and fall, this is where you tend to lose, right? Where I start taking your back. Okay? So I want to use my shin. Okay? When I step in, I'm putting my knee into his chest. I'm not kneeing him in the face. Right? I mean, unless you have to, right? Then you just can't, don't get caught, right? It's usually more thigh than anything. Okay? And then I sit on his lap so that I'm connected as we fall. Right? I might even scoop his leg. Oh, now I can start looking for leg locks if they're legal. Right? Or I maintain this position. Okay? I'm keeping my hips tight until my shoulders can get tight. I might even take that hand and tuck it into his armpit on the other side to keep us connected. Right? That's perfectly fine. Okay? Especially if they have nice moves. Okay? But only with you. All right, otherwise, you can right. go to jail for it, right? Yeah, your wife might, might not like it. Now, what I'm fighting here is him getting a butterfly hook. So if I don't stay in underneath this leg, and, uh, Paolo, you were asking about if I extend that other leg. If I keep it loose and he underhooks my leg, now he's got control of my hips. Okay, now we're in a battle to see who's going to be able to get that. i got to get that foot free before I can do anything else. Because if he gets that butterfly hook there and he can get this one free, all right, now he's elevating my hips, right. and he's got hip position. Yeah, lost his yep, this is where I usually get you, okay? <laughs> so I, if he underhooks my foot, I need to use my free one to fight that, okay? And then I can use it to start getting up. If you're playing legs, fine. Go grab that other one, and I can start looking for my honey hole. That's essentially where I am, right? Cross, ashi, whatever, depending on what school, what system you're listening to, or you're working with. Right? And if I'm just looking to come up on top, that's fine too. I start tripping, keeping that shin pressure on his leg, and I come up. When I'm up, my butt is back on his hips. I'm not staying high. Right? Especially with somebody like Elliot, right? Or Chambers, right? Where they start exploding. Now you're in a match to try to stay in connection with him. And my hips are really high. So whether he bellies down away or towards me, I'm either going to end up in half a half guard, right? Because if he explodes into me and he comes up on top, He's in a good half guard sitting on my lower leg, right? If I try to take his back here and I sit for it, he's got my foot, he's gonna be able to pull this inside elbow through, right? Now I'm too high, right? Okay? Any of those situations, or if my arm is out here, sorry, right? If his arm is behind me here and I can't sit behind him, I don't have a lot of attachment, right? So I need to settle my hips back. Then I can set up whatever attack I want. Make sense? So I want to be sitting on his hips. Yes? Do you want to be upright like that? Or do you want to kind of be like I mean, it's okay to be down. The, the problem is when I'm down, my butt stands to come up. Right? So as long as your butt is down and I'm connected, great. But my goal here is to get his back. Right? I want to be underneath this arm. So my hips are down. Okay? If I'm postured up, okay, it's because I'm fighting something. Or MMA, it's a great striking position. Right? And if he's not holding on to my foot, I can always just windshield wiper it out and go right to mount. Yeah. Right? So usually they'll be holding on to their foot. Right? And when he holds on to my foot, his hips have to be turned that way, mm. which makes it easier for me to pull him that way. Right? If he tries to square up, his knees have to loosen a little bit. Right? And if they don't, and he tries to turn, keep your knees together, but turn your hips back towards me, fine. Slide through the other way. Mm. Okay? So that's where we're going to go with this, just to start out. Right? I'm going to back step in with my reverse half. All right? If you need to take a little, a little half shrimp here to get his hips towards you, fine. All right? Block that knee. Come up. Okay? I'm going to pop my hips up. Knee across. Knee slide through. Now, he's got the underhook. You have to be aware of this. Right? So as soon as I do that, I'm spinning around behind. Mike Mora. All right? Side control on the other side. I don't really care which. Right, most of you guys have done that underhook killer we do from side control. Yes? I have a question, Ian. What's up? So when you flip over to the other side, um, if he really clamps down on that foot, uh -huh. how do you start dealing with that? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too concerned about if he's... So here, boom, right, fall. So he's locked onto my leg. Just, yeah, just hold on for all you got. Right? Here? Yep. That's okay. Right? I'm in half guard. Okay. If I pop up and I start to slide through, if I can get this underhook, that's ideal. Uh -huh. But if I can't, that's fine too. Right? So we end up in this 
knee slide where I'm yanking my foot free. Uh -huh. As long as my weight, my head are on this side of his body, I'm okay. It's when I'm on top of him that he can roll me back. Okay. Right? So as long as I'm on this side, I can take my time to pull that foot free. Now he's only got the underhook. So when he explodes to try to come out, right, I got to be aware of that and either spin to his back or if he comes to turtle, then I attack the turtle. Okay. Right? Yep. We talked about speed isn't necessarily a factor who can move faster. It's about who knows where they need to be first. Right? So if I know that the, what his options are, I could be ready for them and be attacking them before he actually initiates it, right? Mm -hmm. That's what my goal is here. I know what his options are. If he reacts a certain way, I'm already on my way there. And that's what we're addressing right now. Right? If he holds onto my foot and he tries to take me back over, I'm gonna slide through. He's already got the underhook. Great. If you can get the under, do it. But if they're doing what they should be, and the person on the bottom, this is your chance to practice your defense, right? What if somebody does this to you? I keep everything tight, I look for my underhook. If you can get it on top, great, do it. You flatten them out, easy knee slide, okay? If you can't get it, the person on the bottom does their job, they get the underhook, then I gotta spin all the way around. Yes? Yep. Whenever you make that back step into the first back row, yep. can you tension their leg? Yes. That's why I sit first, then I pitch, before I actually hit the ground. For those of you guys that aren't sure, what do you mean? When I step in, I put pressure into him, I wrap here. As I sit, I pinch my legs together. Mm. Right? So I'm locking onto his legs. Okay? This is where I could go to leg locks, right? Or I've got control, now I can open up. But for that second, I need to hold on, because if he freaks out, I need to have that leg locked in. Alright? Then I can play with it. Alright? Good question. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Alright, so back step. Go over the top, knee slide through. One, two, three.